In Scandinavian countries like Norway and Sweden, the 13th of December is a special day. It is the feast of Saint Lucy. Lucy was a Christian who was martyred in the fourth century. On her feast day, Scandinavian communities gather together for a celebration which includes music and prayer, and then she appears, a young girl dressed in a long white robe. On her head, she wears a crown of candles. Yes, in the old days, this girl wore burning candles as a crown on her head. I think they may use electric candles today. Why do Christians celebrate the memory of a fourth century martyr by putting candles on the head of a young girl in Sweden? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you the reason. The name Lucy, or Lucia in Italian, means light. As a young woman, Lucy heard the gospel and fell in love with Christ. But this was an age of persecution, a dark time when Roman political leaders mistreated and killed Christians simply for being Christians. When Lucy was arrested, she refused to deny her faith in the Christ whom she loved. She died a martyr's death. Some legends say that her eyes were damaged as part of her martyrdom. Perhaps that is why she is the patron saint of people with eye problems. The story of Lucy's courageous faith spread quickly in the ancient Christian community. Her example was like a, like a bright light, encouraging other Christians to stay faithful to Christ, even in an era of persecution and darkness. Which brings us back to those Norwegian girls with candles on their heads. In the middle of December, days get short in northern countries. There's less and less sunlight, more and more darkness. And people grew tired of the dark. So they created this St. Lucy celebration, featuring a young woman and the light of candles and this celebration proclaims that the light of Christ always conquers the darkness. God's light never fails. God is with us even when it feels dark. This message is proclaimed in today's first reading. Isaiah says, our Lord is eternal, so they that hope in the Lord will always have their strength renewed. And Jesus, who is the light of the world, offers this invitation. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Not far from St. Mary's Church, there is a fence surrounding a school athletic field. And on that fence is a sign which reads, Be the light. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. If your world feels dark right now, trust today's Advent scriptures. The light of Christ is already in your midst. And remember, you are called to be the light. In other words, let the light of Christ shine through you brightening the lives of people around you. You don't need to wear candles on your head. Begin by having Christ in your heart.